Alright, how's it going guys? We are back. And I got a bit of my inventory cleaned up. And got my blue belts in here. I decided to just go with minimum for each of them at the moment. And we are going to look at today making a gas furnace. Uh, but to make it, we need silicon carbide bricks. So we need to go and look at how to make the silicon carbide bricks, which is silicon and graphite. And we already have both of those being made down yonder here. We have our silicon production here, which is nice and full at the moment. And graphite. I actually don't remember where we're making graphite at. Where did we make graphite at? Um, graphite, graphite. Graphite would be from coal, right? It's been a while. I don't remember where we made graphite at. Graphitic. Have we made graphite? I don't remember making graphitic coke. Um, that would probably be from... Where is it? Graphitic Coke. Bitumen and Coke. Yeah, we ain't made that yet. So we can do a bitumen and Coke or Coke and heavy oil. Well, we'd much rather do this one, at least right now, because we got tons of bitumen. But we do have this thing that is eating our bitumen from over here which is making us let's see here so dun, 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 dun. that's the heavy oil dilute bitumen and water makes us 30 20 70 and the dilute bitumen is petroleum and bitumen. So we actually make heavy with that, but we also make extra petroleum. And right now our petroleum is full and our heavy's full. So we're going to go ahead and just eat up some of this bitumen we have because we have tons of it. And I think we're going to set it up, up in this area here. So let's see here. We're going to start out, like I said, with the bitumen and coke, which we may need to... Uh, actually, you know, we have a train for that. And we've got a lot of stuff in this area. Maybe we should go to a different area to do this. So we do have this area over here on this side of the tracks. We could put it over here. Um, we also could come into this area here because this well this copper is going to last forever I swear but we could put it out here the bitumen's right there but I'm thinking down here would be plenty uh, we could send a second co a second coal train because this coke is pretty much used up by our um, power whenever we have lots of things running. So we could send a second coal train because our coal train 
now has the ability to go other than just right there. So we could put a second one on here, which I think is what we're going to do. So we're going to set this one here to a one train limit. That way only one train can come there. So we don't get them stuck. And we're going to go over here and set up a new area over here to do this. That way it's not on top of literally everything else. So give me a minute. Let me do some clearing and I'll be right back with you. All right. So I came in, cleared out some trees, set up a little train depot here and let's get a train set up here so we need do I not have any uh no I don't have any train stops did I set those we just set it for 10 of them I don't need more than that Apparently I didn't. Well, let me run my butt up here and get some. And we need to fix that. Would you guys stop chasing me? They love to chase me around. All right. Let's see here. Yep, I most definitely did not set that up. So let's fix that. And I'll go ahead and that goes there. I'll just grab those. And then we'll set this to that. And we'll tell it to keep like 20 in there because don't really need that many. All right, so there's something attacking. Ah, spitters must have come in. Um, we don't have trains and everything like that on me, so. But I've got everything I need. I don't usually need those too often. So let's go set this area up. I need to set me up a uh, path. I still need to clean up this. This is still a mess. And I may use this for that. Anyways. We're going to put this here. We're going to give it a signal so it can stop there. And we're going to put a uh, one of these right there. That way, if we need to continue this down, because I'm pretty sure we're going to, we can put another one in right there for a second one. Uh, but we're going to set this one for... Uh, Coal. So we coal drop off. We'll set that up. And then we need to put us a train here. We'll give it some of my batteries so it can get started. Um, this means we're probably going to change the other train over to run on batteries as well. Uh, we're going to put that in. And we're probably going to have to put the ammo car on it. We could actually change this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make this coal drop off uh, two, Because we want this one specifically for this place. 
So then we won't have to worry about it getting mixed up with the other one. And we'll go to coal pickup. Wait for full cargo. Coal drop off to empty cargo. And then go to the... Um, power station. And... Time passed 10 seconds. Send him on out. He'll go get what he needs and come back. And then we need our train unloader. So set that up right there. This is a loader, but we can just switch these over wonder why I didn't place that one didn't even do the ghost thing for it weird okay so that will take care of that part and then we're just going to copy this because we know this works well so we'll just copy all of this here and then I'll change what I don't need of it. Uh, we're going to have at least two other train depots because we're going to have to have the um, The bitumen we can bring down with the belt. But we're doing all of this, so we're going to have to have the silicon come in. And then the silicon carbide bricks is going to have to go up to our main processing area. So we can put the reinforced steel and the steel with it. So let me go ahead and make a third one of these. There we go. So that'll be the drop-off for this one. And then we'll have the drop-off for this one. And then the pickup there. And we'll grab well, we don't need and we'll do it anyways. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. Just because that's a intersection and then we'll put this here. Even though we technically don't need it because we have that. But more is always better. And then we can just put one of these at each of those and at each of these that'll cut that all off all right so now back to our pasty thing and we can just put this here and we don't need this pipe running through here so we'll take that out we don't need this. We can take that out. And we're not going to need this either. Or any of this belt. So I have all that taken out. And actually, this is the input along the outside. I don't know that we need two belts on the inside. Let's get rid of this one. And then just cut this part here. 
and move it up to right there. And then these two come together. Oh, that's the in this is the input. These are the outputs. Okay. Uh, so then. But I still don't think we're going to need it. Plus, we got blue belt. So uh, if we do end up needing it, we can go to blue belts. Let's go ahead and get the coal ran down here. And we'll grab one of these. Drop power down here. And once they get everything in here, that'll get this going. We already have some of it moving there. And then that'll give us that part. Then we need the Coke straight with bitumen in a mixer. So we're going to have this come into this area. So this come across here and we'll put a second belt here and we'll set this for that all the way across there and I'm not sure how fast this is going to be so for right now we'll use regular inserters and if it goes faster we can always grab better ones all right that takes care of the power for that and i probably could have done the power in there better by not using those poles but that will take care of that we do need to fix this now that we move that all right now we just need to get our bitumen down here. So let's see how we're going to do so. Uh, let's see. So as of right now, our bitumen is coming together here. Oh, we did. I thought we set up graphite. Yeah, we set up graphite right there. I knew we had done it. But anyways, we're going to set up another one off of here. And we're actually going to fix this while we're here. We're going to move this down. And put it here. I want to take this one out. So then we have both of these coming in instead of it coming in together at a Y thing there. Or a T. And then we can move this one back to here. And we would put another one in there. There isn't much room to do so. Uh, how do I want to do this? Because I can't really move this unless I move that. And that needs to be there. So I can't really move that. And I want it to come equally from both of them. Uh, we can do this, though. If I turn this, and I have it come down here just a little bit, and we'll just throw this, uh, I guess it's full. And now I can do, oh no, because it's still in the way. I got to do this. 
I gotta move this over to here. And then we can put one of these here. And I can bring it here and take that out, do that. And then I'm going to have to use a red one to get all the way down to here, which we're going to go ahead and while we're here, upgrade both of those and upgrade all of these, including that drop chest, our storage chest, and we're going to upgrade all of that along with that chest, all of this, and all of this. All right. Oh, and while we're upgrading, we might as well upgrade these. Because now we're going to use red belts and we can just run this over and we're going to go down this side of the track. Bots get to work. And them trees out of the way. There we go. And that will get our bitumen down here. So once it gets here, the bots should be bringing in the belts. Oh, by the way, while we're waiting on them, we wanted to get this started so we can make the diamonds, so we can make the better crushers and stuff. And then I'm also going to um no, we want this one. Start that. Can I not do the... I thought you could... I thought there was a way to queue up more than one, but I'm going to do the blast one next, so we can uh, try out that stuff. So I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do the stack inserter throughput. We still need to make those. We still haven't made the stack inserter yet. But with these loaders, we kind of don't need it that much. We should be able to take this out. Oh no, it doesn't reach there. I thought it did. Alright, well, that'll work. And now we should be getting... There it is. And now that, we'll get that... made up. I missed that one. Oh, no, I didn't. That's actually not going to work. I need one of these, but I don't have one of those. All right, fine. We'll put that there, and we'll put that there, and it'll be fine. All right. So there is our graphitic coal and then that needs to go into a furnace and now that makes our graphite here so now we have our graphite And we needed silicon, so we need to get a silicon train in here. 
So let's change this to uh, silicon drop off. Apply change. He's going to be always sitting up there. So we're going to leave him sitting up there. And we're going to set up. Oh, um. Yeah, we need to set this to a train limit of one. I need to go up and do the same for the other one. Now we can get this guy in here. And this is going to be silicon production, uh, full cargo, silicon drop off, full cargo, and then power station, time pass, 10 seconds, automatic and give it some power and now he will go and deal with that and this one we need to set to one so that we don't have to worry about another the other train trying to come up there and go to that one and now we'll just copy this out and put it here. Connect up the power. And is this done in a electric alloy furnace? All right. So then we're going to have these come out of here and go that way. We're probably going to have you know, a bunch of these across here. And we'll have that come in here. And then we're going to do the... Uh, what is the timing on this? So it's going to take eight seconds to do that. That only takes four seconds. So it's going to take twice as long. So if we set these up, Staggered just a touch. I'm going to change where that one is. So we're going to stagger this just a touch. We put let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, we don't really need it. Yeah, because if we've got six of those, yeah, what am I thinking? Yeah, we want to stagger them. Because we can put, like, twice as many of them for this, because we're going to have a lot of them that are going to need to be done. And then we're going to move this out like that. Uh, where is my landfill? Blueprint. And these guys fill in at least that much there and then we can have this come in like that I don't know if we're going to need this stuff for anything else but just in case we're going to make a nice big amount of it And it really doesn't matter where these go in. So we'll just do that. And we need to copy that over to all of those. And our silicon train has arrived. So now we can run this down, which we can't do it like that. Because there's going to be another train here for picking it up. So we're actually going to come over this way 
because we want this to connect here. Oops, that's the wrong way. Really? That's what you decided to go with? Alright, there we go. And that will give us our bricks. And if I need more of this stuff, I can uh, always set up more. So now we want to set up our last one. Uh, which this is called silicon carbide. And be that. And then we'll set us up another train. This time I can actually use the proper direction ones. As that's for loading it. So this is going to be that. And then we can actually have this go to the power plant on its way. Because of where it's going to go to. And then we'll leave that open for the moment because we haven't got the uh, place for that set up yet. And then we can run this up and into right there. Uh, turn those guys off for just a second. They can get that finished. And that looks like it's running rather well. Um, actually, amazed. I might need to. How much of this does do they need to start? Four silicon and four graphite. Ah, so I probably should take out this first one. I looked at the time, but I didn't look at the um, amounts. Drop this bitumen off up there. Yeah, that should keep it running pretty decent. I may take out this first one too, or this one here too. Let's see how that works. If we take that one out, it's gonna work great now because I got all this graphite I'm throwing in it, but. And we can also change these over so they grab it faster because there's more down there we just want to make sure they grab whatever's there it's not going super fast but it's fast enough all right and that's not gonna fill that quick but now let's go ahead and I thought I put fuel in here Let's put a little bit of this in, and we'll go ahead and drive this one on up there where we need to go. We need to turn here, and we need to turn here. Let's go in and let it fill with a little bit of battery. Oh. Oh, no, oh, no. Stop there. Give me some batteries. Give that out of there. Alright, that's enough. 
All right, so that's what it's going to do. And then we're going to bring it down over this way. Because we're going to build this basically right in here. I'm going to borrow the steel one for the moment. Eh, that's not going to be enough room. We'll do it on the other side of the track. I ain't any room on the other side of the track. I could just put it in this stack up here. Well, let's take a look here real quick. So, we're making this. And we're not going to need but one of them. We need reinforced plates and beams, which we already have right here. So, we can just have our assembler right here for this. And then we can do, uh, let's do a fast one for this. That down there. We can put that there. That'll take care of getting those. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add one onto this stack up here. Nah, that's too short. Man, that should work. And we'll set up our lights. And this will be for our, uh, this will be silicon drop off or silicon carbide. There we go. And now we can come down here. Add that to this. And we want to empty cargo, send. And for some reason, he can't get into there. Not sure why. Um, yeah, he definitely can go there. I don't know where the hell he's going, but, oh, he probably went back to silicon production, didn't he? Well, he's not there. Where is he? Is that the power station? Why is he there? Oh, he's going to be coming here next, so. Let's go ahead and grab these three and get them in here and we'll go ahead and set up the there he is uh, paste unload her in which is excessive we don't quite need all of that for this but it's fine And then we can run this down here and over there. And then we can just do that. And then we'll set up a drop off box so these can get done. Set this for the gas furnace. And hook that up. And gas furnace less than, and we'll say 20. And we need to get power, and there they come. Bring it on down. I 
Or why does that look like it uses CO2? That seriously looks like it uses CO2. It's not natural gas, is it? Ain't that the CO2 one? Let's see here. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, that is natural gas. Okay. So this uses natural gas and it can smelt well, anything. So what did we make this for? I thought it needed I thought it had a special combustion furnace smelts high level materials. I thought we had to have this for high level materials. But it looks like it smelts anything. So maybe there's something special that we have to have it for eventually. But as of right now, it just looks like it is going to smelt things. Its crafting speed is 2.5. Its pollution is 6. So it's the same speed as our electric furnace and same pollution. So, as of right now, we don't need to use it. If eventually we get something that needs it, we have it. And we'll need to save the, um, the natural gas for it. But I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Because didn't I just look at, uh, wasn't there one of these? Yeah, we can turn petrol into natural gas and coke with nickel pellets if we need to. I don't think we're going to need to. Well, we're actually out of natural gas at the moment. But like I said, I, if it comes down to a point where there is something that needs it, then we'll uh, deal with that then. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll figure it's coming in the future. And I think... We might definitely want to put in a few more of these. Like a lot more of these. If we need these. Because I really screwed up on the amount that I put these for. Because I'm thinking that, you know, like... We might be able to run three of these at a time off of these six. Let me see, if I take this one out, and this one out, and we stick this in here. For some reason I have coke on me, let's uh, throw that in here. Now let's see if these six can keep these three running. And again, I may need to change those inserts around the blue ones, but yeah, it's looking like it's a two to one ratio here is going to keep that running. So as they get more of this filled in, which, uh, where is my, and that's still inside the area. So as we get more landfill, I can expand that out, but since we don't really have any material we need them to smell right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, that is going to be it for today. And our cubic press is getting done. We need to take a look and see how our 
science stuff is running over here. Um, it's not. Where is our... What are we missing here? Uh, beams. Circuits. We're missing something. Beam, circuit, concrete bricks. How in the world are we missing concrete bricks? Okay, well, I'm going to look into this and fix that. And I'll get back to you. Right there is concrete. Can I run it out of water? Is that the problem? I think I ran myself out of water. That's just funny. Okay, so I'm going to go figure out my water issue. I think I know what it is. And I'll get back to you with it in the next one. Y'all have a good one.